In this video, we'll be doing a work rate word problem. The equation that will be used is rate times time equal amount of work done. Now, sometimes with our problems, um, we need to manipulate this equation and find the rate of work for someone. So if we wanted to take this equation, rate times time, equal amount of work done, and find the rate, then we could divide both sides by t. The t's would cancel, and we would get the rate that that person is working is equal to the amount of work they can get done over a certain time period. The problem is, if Joe can paint a house in six hours, and Sam can paint the same house in eight hours, how long does it take them to do it working together? So basically what we want to do is combine these two workers and uh, write an equation for the amount of work they can get done. So what we want is the rate for Joe times the time for Joe added to the rate for Sam times the time for Sam. And that'll give us the total work done. Now notice this expression right here is just the amount of work done by Joe because rate times time equal work done. So Joe can do this amount of work and Sam can do this amount of work. So if you add those together, you'll get your total work. Now we're going to use this equation here that I derived from this first one to find Joe's rate and to find Sam's rate. We'll take this first sentence. It says Joe can paint a house in six hours. So a house, basically just one house. So we have one house is the amount of work done and six hours is the time. So Joe's rate is one six. Or if you wanted to talk about in terms of rate, you could say one-sixth of the house per hour. So one house in six hours. And then we'll be multiplying that by Joe's time. I'm going to wait for a minute and put that in after we finish the rates. Sam's rate, uh, we'll take the second part of this first sentence here. Sam can paint the same house, so one house, in eight hours. So Sam's rate is one house in eight hours, or one-eighth of a house per hour. And then we'll multiply that by Sam's time. And uh, the total work that they have to get done together, how long does it take them to do it? So painting one house. Um, so our total work is going to be one house. Now we need our times for the uh, both of the men. Um, how long does it take them? So we're basically looking for the time. Uh, we're assuming that they're starting at the same time and finishing at the same time because they're working together. So we'll just let uh, the time for both men be T. Right, so what we have then is uh, 1 sixth T plus 1 eighth T is equal to 1. Um, I'm going to uh, get a common denominator of 24. So uh, if I change this to 24, I'll have to multiply top and bottom by 4. So I have 4 24ths t for Joe. 
plus, and then I want a 24 in this denominator. So I'll multiply top and bottom by 3, and this is 3 24ths t is equal to 1. Now if we add these like terms, we have 4 24ths t plus 3 24ths t, that'll be 7 24ths t equals 1. Now we'd like t by itself, so we'll multiply both signs by the reciprocal of this fraction. The reciprocal will be 24 over 7, and we need both signs. So on this side, 24 sevenths times 7 24 that's just 1. So I have t equals, and then 1 times 24 sevenths is 24 sevenths, which is also 3 and 3 sevenths hours.